OBS is the go-to streaming and video recording application for pretty much all streamers and YouTubers. Um, anybody that's really trying to create content where it involves capturing something that you're doing on a screen usually involves OBS. But for me, I've only had issues with the application. Anytime I try to capture a game, I get a bunch of stuttering, uh, a bunch of drop frames, lag. It's just an overall really poor quality video uh, compared to the 144 hertz that I'm seeing on my screen or the 60 FPS that it should be recording at. Um, so because of these issues, for the most part, every single one of my videos in the past, I've used NVIDIA's GeForce Experience, their in-game capture, their screen recording capabilities to record a lot of the content in those videos. And for the most part, it's an extremely easy application to use, um, but it's also limited in its capabilities, whereas OBS has all the capabilities that you need and plenty more that you probably will never use. Um, but it's an extremely powerful application when it works. Um, so for me, uh, all I'm really doing is recording the audio output from my game, the audio output from myself, the video output from my camera. So that will make for the next video. I'm actually recording uh, the webcam part of this video with my Canon M50 over micro USB. So rather than having to use a capture card or pretty much anything else to actually take the video output from my camera and use it in this recording. Um, I'm just doing that over micro USB with Canon's new uh, webcam utility beta. So that allows you to take your webcam, connect it to your computer with micro USB, and then use that as your webcam. So you get an insanely crisp image, a really good quality camera as your webcam for the simple cost of nothing because everybody has micro USB lying around. Um, so that'll be in the next video, so be sure to check that out. But getting back to this one, the only other thing we're doing is capturing the display or capturing the game. So there's both game capture and display capture. Right now I'm using display capture. Once we get into game, we'll use game capture. Um, but overall, that's pretty much it. The only other settings that I have, I'm go show you those. Uh, the video recording, so we're taking, I play on a 1440p panel at 144 FPS. So we're taking that 2560 by 1440, bringing it down to 1920 by 1080 for both a stream or a recording, and then taking the 144 FPS and bringing it down to 60 FPS. So another thing that if you're having some stuttering or some drop frames that you might wanna look at if you're playing at 144 FPS is actually bringing your in-game resolution down to 120 because if you're playing at 144 and you have to bring it down to 60, you're gonna to have to drop some random frames in there. So when you're playing at 120, you're dropping one frame for every two that you're seeing on screen. Um, whereas at 144, it could be two, it could be three, it could be anywhere in between. Um, so it's best to play at 120 intervals of 60 FPS. Uh, so that is another thing you might wanna take into consideration if you're having some issues. Um, and the only other thing we're doing is outputting as MP4, uh, and we're using hardware NVENC encoding. So we're using our RTX 2070 Super for the encoding of the video. So what we're gonna do is hop into a quick game of Call of Duty with just out of the box settings from both Windows uh, and OBS. So just, this is the setup that I did in OBS and that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna show you the stuttering and the drop frames that I'm experiencing uh, with my video recording uh, from my gameplay. Um, so we'll do that first, and then we'll show you guys the fix. So we're about to get into uh, a game of Call of Duty multiplayer. Um, but before we do that, uh, we should be seeing 144 FPS in game. I have it capped 144 FPS inside of Call of Duty. Um, and I also have the resolution at 1920 by 1080 in game. Um, at the 1440p that the panel actually can produce, uh, the RTX 2070 Super just doesn't have enough juice to get it to that 144 FPS. We're pretty much capped at like 115 to 120. So in order to achieve 144 FPS in game, uh, I dropped the resolution down to 1080p, uh, but we're gonna bring the recording down to 60 FPS anyways. And of course, YouTube will bring that down to 30 FPS, uh, but you'll definitely be able to see the stuttering uh, and the lag and the drop frames that I'm talking about. Um, 
So be sure to pay attention to the video quality, as you can already see, just sort of waiting. It's extremely laggy, extremely stuttery, um, but we'll play a little bit of the game and we'll get uh, to see a little bit more of how bad this quality actually is. So again, in-game frames are looking really good, like 135 to 144 FPS. But then as soon as we get to the actual recording or the stream of the content, it's super stuttery and a lot of drop frames for sure. Um, so I'm sure you guys got the picture as to exactly what we're dealing with. Now I'm gonna show you the super simple uh, fix uh, to actually get rid of all of these issues. Depending on exactly what you, the issues that you're experiencing are, the solution might be slightly different. But this is a really good place to start just to make sure that you're not going to overlook this simple step. So all you're gonna have to do is go into your Windows settings, search for game mode settings. Uh, so game mode is Windows um, option, I guess, to prioritize your both hardware utilization as well as the system resources for peak performance in game. So it's really dedicating your hardware uh, and the actual Windows system to provide as much resources as your game needs to give you that peak FPS that you're looking for, the 144 FPS in our case. Um, of course, that means that any of the background processes or like OBS trying to screen record in the background and use our GPU and CPU to encode the video, um, we're not seeing the quality uh, on our video recording that we're looking for. So all we're gonna do is shut off game mode and shut off game bar. So these are the two settings you're gonna wanna change inside of Windows and that's pretty much it. So this is all that it took to fix my issue. And I will show you guys the, you know, the after, uh, the aftermath of just that simple change and how our recording has improved. The other thing you're gonna wanna make sure of is that if you're just trying to record a game that you're using game capture rather than display capture, it's a little bit less taxing uh, for both the software and the hardware to deal with. Um, but if you're trying to capture everything that's going on in your screen, display capture is still the way to go. So let's hop in to another game of Call of Duty and we'll see what the new and improved uh, quality of our video looks like. So now that we're getting ready to hop into another game of Call of Duty multiplayer um, and we have those game mode changes made, uh, be sure to take a look at the FPS at the top left of the screen. So that is what you know I'm seeing, that's what you would see uh, on your screen as you're playing. Um, so we still want that to really hit our 144 FPS uh, and although we're not now prioritizing as much of the system resources to the game, we're now dedicating some to OBS, uh, we should still hit that 144 FPS uh, when we're actually in the game. The other thing to take a look at is what our stream quality and our recording quality looks like. Of course, it should be a lot better than the stutters and the drop frames that we were seeing uh, in our previous uh, video. I'll probably put them up side by side at some point uh, and that should give you guys a really good idea of the dramatic change that a simple change like this has on your video quality and the performance of OBS. So let's get into the game. And as you can see already, a lot smoother uh, and a lot more crisp. No more drop frames um, and a lot less stuttering. Of course, we're experiencing some drop frames as we are going from 144 down to 60. But overall, it's a much better experience uh, compared to what it was uh, prior to making those game mode changes. Hope you guys can tell that the video quality is much improved. The only other change that we could make, like I said at the beginning of the video, is to bring our in-game FPS from 144 to 120. So we'll play at this FPS for a little bit and then we'll bring it down to 120 and see if we get less drop frames um, and less overall perceived lag. Uh, 
at 120 hertz instead of 144. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll go ahead, go into graphics, and we will adjust our custom frame rate limiter to 120. Apply settings. Now we're sitting at 125. So Call of Duty, for whatever reason, their frame rate limiter is always off. Uh, you set it to 140, it ends up at 144. You set it at 120, it ends up at 125. But we should be able to get uh, a good idea as to whether we see less shot frames um, compared to what we just saw at 144 FPS, um, but overall a much better quality video uh, compared to what we were seeing prior to any of the changes that we made. I think we'll end it here. I think you guys get the point. Um, really, really quick fix if you are experiencing any issues with OBS. Again, depending on your system, depending on what your exact issue is. This may not be the exact fix for your problem, but hopefully this is a good place to start and maybe see if this is what is causing your issue. The other thing, of course, to check is to make sure you're in game capture versus display capture um, inside of OBS to ensure that you're getting you know, the best overall experience. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned uh, a little bit about um, some of the issues that Windows can cause when it comes to OBS recording and how to fix those issues, of course. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, be sure to leave those below. Uh, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers. It'd be awesome if you guys could help us out.